Well, hello once again to uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Um, yeah, I missed my padded cell. I needed to get back in the back in the in the cell. But uh, for some of you who know, this is not just a bolt roulette. This is the track attacker version. And uh, I had a little idea that I thought I would test. So as you know, when you go to the tune shop, there's these brake options, right? 600, 200, 400, yeah, a couple of whatevers. So 600 credit, 4%. 480, 400 is 3.5. 200 for 2.5, 240 for 1.5. This, this kind of this seems a little odd, but... Um, I figured, why not buy a pair of each one of these and see how the brakes stack up against stock, right? So, this car here has the factory brakes, caliper, or rotors, which also brings up another... Yeah, Stupid CMS simulation bullshit. All right. So the rotor. Yeah, it has a grip property and a friction property, etc. So it is a performance part. However, it serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever to put a better rotor if you don't change the pads and the the, the shoes, okay? The, the calipers, right? They have single piston, dual piston, quad piston, six piston, Brembo brakes, Wilwood brakes, Bear brakes. You, you know, there's those parts are performance parts that are usually sold with rotors as a set because they're made to work in conjunction with each other. But CMS only sells the rotors as if that changes anything. So let's see how good garbage pads and piston clamping power, because it's really that clamping power that gives you the brakes and the friction between the pad and the rotor that helps the stopping. So let's, yeah. Yeah, I'm already disgusted by the whole idea. So anyway, this is car number one. It is red. I know it doesn't look like it, but yes, this this one is red. Okay, it's red. I, I painted it because I wanted. And as you can see here, I bought the car from the salon. Not the only car. Okay, 112 grand. And I bought five of them. From the salon, brand new. I don't have to do a damn thing to them. Yeah. We have another one here, and another one here, and another one here. This is my original that I had bought and put eight miles on it. From the salon, of course. And this one has the performance, the best performance brakes. Okay. So. The cost of this one and the value of this one is different because it originally had a set of side pipes on it that cost more when I bought the car. But because the game gave me shit about them on a different project, I had to edit them off because you cannot buy them in the game. Yeah, more bullshit. So I removed them, but... When I bought the car, that was the cost of the car, so that's what I paid, and now it's worth even less than it ever could have been. So anyway, this one has the best brakes. As you can see, they're pretty dark. That's that's the uh, down in the bottom left there, 4% performance gain. And uh, this car has drums on the rear, and there's no performance drums that I'm aware of. And then this one, it has the uh, drilled and slotted 1.5%. And 
And this one here has the no drill, no slotted, black cut, black hat, one percenters, which I believe were 200 or 140, 20, whatever. They're, they're cheap ones, but they're, this will probably be car number two. And in here, of course, we have more slotted and drilled 3.5. So these would probably be the second best, uh, roughly, I'm guessing. So first, we are going to take the red car for a ride. And then I believe this one is a green car. Yes, this is a green car. Okay. And then this one is a yellow car, which I made a Baldwin motion paint scheme for it because Baldwin motion. And this is the Cooters race car that I made a livery for. And yeah, Brewster Baker. And then this is a Trans Am series race car livery. And yeah, it's red. Okay. Enough, enough of the techno babble nonsense. Let's go to the track with this car and see what we can figure out for a brake test zone. Okay. So this car is our benchmark car. All right, this looks like a good enough spot within reason. From here, we will launch our way all the way down to the far end where there is a 150, 100, and a 50 foot marker on the right hand side for braking points. We will start um, guessing where the sand cuts off to the right into blacktop as our that's where we hit the brakes roughly within that range and we will see roughly where we stop along them lines whoa 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 Looks like right about here, nose to the red mark. So that's that's benchmark with basic brake. So we have a little bit of runway left. I am guessing this probably isn't the uh, worst spot to. Uh... Yeah, considering from here to there versus here to there. Maybe we'll back this up and we'll try it from the beginning of the red and white. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So I've got my nose yeah, roughly close enough to the uh, point of a spot we can benchmark from. So now we will start at the beginning of the red and white. Let's go from there. All right. Looks to me like a uh, big square and then a line. We're at the red mark. So let me screenshot that for uh, reference. That'll work. So we're roughly between the two and the one. So hopefully better breaks. We get closer to there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red marks from the number two. All right. So now we are back at the shop and we have a benchmark on this one. Now, I believe it was this one. 
which is 1%, okay? 1% performance improvement, I should say. And this is the green car, so we will go back to the track. All right, well, <laughs> it looks like I lined that up pretty decent. So uh, let's hit the gas and uh, go see where we can stop at. Wow. That is um, crazy. That's that's literally at the one mark, and this is a one percent in performance improvement break. And we lost half of the distance between the two and the one. We stopped shorter on factory discs. I will have to check the recording to see if we got up to a higher speed before we hit the brakes, but I'm pretty sure we hit just about dead on the, the stopping mark. But that, uh, let's call it on the white before the one, but that's at the one on the nose. So yeah, that's not very good for performance parts. Let's see what the next one does. All right, well, that, that showed what it showed, I guess. All right, now these are 1.5% on the yellow car as compared to the green one that was a one percent so now let's take the yellow car and i'll meet you back at the spot well what do you know it looks to me like i got pretty close to the same mark so here we go again same routine let's push it and stop on time And again, a 1.5 does not compare. I mean, it's still worse than the base. We may have to do the baseline again and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six red marks to the front tire from the one. All right, so I know this is the highest performing brakes as far as the tuning parts say they are. This one is a 3.5, second highest. This is our base model with stock factory, just OEM brakes, right? And this is the red car. So let's take this one back to the track and double check those numbers okay all right well we'll call that fair enough we'll get in our position and let's see where we end up again Well, I guess that makes a little more sense. I still don't see how we stopped quicker than that before, but one, two, three, four red marks from the one. Okay. Maybe we'll run this one more time and see if that changes. Well, that was pretty close, but not quite. Oh, 
whoa, whoa. All right, well, 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 close enough, basically, right? Okay. All right, let's try it a third time. Okay, well, looks to me it's more right dead center between the red and white. One, two, three, four, fifth one from the from the one. Last time was four. This one's going on five. So, all right. Well, we'll, we'll count that for what it is, and uh, we will take it from there. So we got the stock. We got the one percent. We got the one point five. Let's go to this one here, which I believe is three point five percent. We should see a much closer to number two instead of number one with the black car. All right, getting into position here real quick, and yeah, that's that's about close enough, right? All right, we're in the black car, 3.5% brake performance. All right, now that is just, um, This is 3.5% performance brake. Now I'm, I'm, I really need to check the speedometer at that red line because uh, there's, this should be stopping. Back here, if not back here or here or even here and see this this is where calipers are performance whereas rotors are friction so maybe they got better bearings in them and it allows for a higher top speed with less friction but they yeah All right, that's uh, that's that. You can see my uh, tire mark is right there from the burnout. So uh, that's that wasn't too bad. All right, Let's try it again, I guess. Now, did you notice how the ass end kind of wiggle, 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 wiggled as it was slowing down? It, it was not doing that at all with the other cars. All right, so that's three red marks from the one. Um, you can kind of see the, the brake marks. I wonder if those are the initial brakes. And then there was like a pause, like and a lock brake or something. And then right about here, you start seeing another mark. And then all that fun stuff that shows up. And then another set of marks that show up.
And then you really start seeing the marks. Hmm. You would think the car, if they would grip good, would lock up initially, and then the car would lose so much momentum after the black marks that it would slow the car down and the brake marks would get lighter. But right here, you can clearly see they get darker right here, and they're faint as hell up here. Hum. Now, if only these marks would stay for the next car. One final shot. Yeah, that's... Uh, these are 3.5% performance. And it's past the one. It should be way the hell up here. It should be stopping way the hell back here. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go try the best one. Yeah, um, yeah. All right. So now this one. 4% performance, right? And as far as I know, there is nothing else on this car but added, touched, tweaked, modified, touched, whatever. It's just the configuration as bought. Well, okay, it's got a paint job. So what? Sue me. I put a paint job on it. A thousand bucks. It's my fault. But there is no performance anything on here. There is nothing been touched or changed on this car at all except for those front brakes. And that is it. And this one, I believe, is white. Yes, current color is white. Now well, we made it to the spot. Now we just got to get her lined up here. Oh, come on. All right, well, it's close enough. If we're further forward, we get less top speed. If we're further back, we get more top speed by, what, a couple inches? All right, well, let's see if we can stop before the number two. And if not, then there is no point in the brakes other than money. Well, I think that pretty much proves it, folks. There is no point in buying performance brakes unless you want to make more money on the cost of the part, making more profit, then that's really the only point, which that doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, one, one more try. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh, 
landed that one very successfully, but... All right, well, here is where we are. All right, back tire is on the black in that little crack crevice. Come on, looky, nifty. Okay, yeah, it's in that spot. All right, one more try. And again, the stock brakes end back here. So uh, I guess the only thing really left to test is, uh, does it make a difference in a lap? One lap, starting with the best brakes possible. All cars are identical, so. One oh one at the bridge. All right, well, 137.46, right? 137.46. This is with uh, the best brakes. Now let's try that with the stock brake, because what's the point of the other ones? All right, so this one did a 137.46 with these brakes, 4% performance. So what we're going to find out now is the stock version, the untouched brakes, everything else is 100% identical, no upgrades, no performance, no nothing, just as I bought it with the $1,000 paint job. So if we get a faster lap time within a, let's say, two-second range, that could be partly driving. If it's more drastic than that, and this one is lower or slower top speed, top end, but, you know, speed, then it's more about the rolling friction resistance stuff than it is about the stopping power. Whereas if this one is a lot slower by five, six seconds or so, then we know that the depth I could drive into a corner and use the brakes on that one outdo this one, which I am pretty much going to push this thing to the limits. So let's go find out what actually happens. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do this.
All right. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's restart that. Take two. First try was uh yeah went to went to match. It felt like there was a lot more breaks. I don't think I quite got her slowed down enough for that one, but still reasonably close. Whoa, whoa, okay, that that's that's easily two, three, four seconds. All right, well, what's what's really funny is this is a 140, and in the other one, we did a 137.4, so this is only 2.6 seconds difference, and we had a bad crash. Let's try that again. Round three. Yeah, I dove that one in there a little deeper to see if it would help, but... Much more equivalent corner. 101 at the bridge, so the first half of the track is about equal. And it really does not want to hang on to that corner. That's some serious speed is all I can say. Yeah, I got a little hard on the brakes there, but... Come on, dude, seriously? All right, you, you saw the ending, yeah? And that's a 139.6. Our best so far, the other car was a 137.4. And these are stock brakes. And outside of the uh, sliding wherever, doing crazy what the, uh, yeah, that stuff that happened down here, right? Right. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll beat you at the garage. All right. Well, um, a summation for you. These three cars. One twelve eight thirty one. This is the same price I paid for four out of the five. 112.8. So you can see this is 20 gram point six, and these are the 3.5.
20.6. This one is 21.6. So there's a thousand dollars worth of profit in those two percent because this is 1.5. Yeah, 1.5, and these are 3.5. So there, there's a thousand dollars profit in those compared to this. And this is 112.8, 112.831, and these are 22 grand. And these are just your 1%, so between 22 grand and 21 grand, or 20 grand. So there's technically a little more than $2,000 worth of profit in just the 3.5s. Now, on the stock vehicle, 112.8, all twos, totally all twos, all right? So there's, that's profit loss compared to the green one out there, which is the smallest amount of gain above this one. It's not much. Now, this one you would think would be worth more, but at 12.8, 112.8, yeah, 112.831. See, we're already way off on the price wise, so this this one's not really gonna tell us everything. But it is gonna tell us all we need to know from what we just found out. These are the other break options, which um that's what they tell me. And don't buy them. Don't don't waste your time because the only thing you're going to get from the brakes, if you don't drive the cars in the game, is money. Which, if you happen to look up here, $49 million. I bought all five of these cars from the salon because I really don't care about the money because it's pointless. There's no point in the money. So buying better brakes to put on the car to make it perform better doesn't do anything. I, I do want to test one more theory. All right, so you can see eight miles on there. 464, 591. There is no change going to happen in here from this one, right? So what I want to see, well, it's not even going to matter because if this performance on the brake cat rotor changes the horsepower and torque of this car, which we don't see any point in testing that one because it should be identical, but do the brakes actually increase the horsepower and torque because they sure as hell don't help the brakes. Let's find out. If we even see a plus 4%, I'm going to laugh my ass off. No gain, no loss. <coughs> All right. <coughs> so performance parts that are not motor parts do not count towards performance. Ah, I hate that fucking thing. All right. Look at So no performance change whatsoever. Numbers are identical. Zero, blah, 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 blah. All right. So these brakes did nothing for this car that these rotors didn't already do, other than a couple grand profit or whatever they are. So unless you are looking for a certain style, like say you don't want the slotted and grilled, or you like these veins, or these 
no black hub or with the hub, without the hub, whatever. If, if you're going for the money of the value of the part you're putting on, since you're not driving it, and it really don't make a fucking bit of difference, buy this one. Period. You're spending more, you're getting more in the end, and none of these are going to make any goddamn bit of difference whatsoever. This is a darker center as compared to all these shiny spotted dotted POSs. So, as you can see, it is much darker looking, which actually accentuates the wheel better as compared to the back rim with the brake drum behind there. Unless you got four wheel disc brake, it's what it is. But, uh, I mean, personal choice. My conclusion to the whole thing, brakes don't matter. There is no point in buying brakes. But you got to put them on in order to get the tire on, so you got to buy something to put in there. So let's go with stock. You get this free fucking machine over here that you already paid for. You better get your money's worth and put some damn brakes on there to use it, which for those who know, this also does rear drums. But not in the game, because because car mechanic doesn't. So anyway, now I have five cars I can test other things with, and then we can. Yeah, I don't even want to play this fucking game anymore. I just waste a whole bunch of money I got too much of that I don't need. That. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. You might see me back in Car Mechanic again at some point when I think of something stupid to test or, you know, we'll be back. Till then, expect to see something else.